How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Whew. Man, you know that feeling that you get when you haven't seen somebody for some time that you used to be attracted to? And, you know, maybe it's been three or four years since you last seen this person. And, you know, you once wanted to be a part of their life. But they didn't want you then because they didn't see the potential in you. They didn't want to be around you then. But then you see them. And now all of a sudden, they're trying to show you some love. Because you're doing well now. (laughs) Now that you've built something, oh, now they want to move in. Now they want to be a part of your life. Fantastic. The answer is no. Not today, friend. And I don't even want to see you as a friend because I don't like you anymore as a friend because you... You see, a lot of the times people are going to just see the results of what you do. They don't see the blood, they don't see the sweat, they don't see the tears that you've gone through. They just see the results. And they haven't done shit. In fact, they haven't seemed to put any work into themselves at all since you last saw them. That was the case today. I saw a woman that I asked out about four years ago and... She said no at the time, and she took great delight in telling me no. And at the time, I was about 40 pounds heavier, and I was just getting started in my spiritual awakening, and I was still trying to find my feet. You know, I still had that sea legs that you get on the spiritual path, and I haven't seen her since. Well, today I saw her as we were passing by and she looked at me in the eye for a second and her jaw dropped because she had gained about 20 pounds, had a bunch more tattoos and the guy that she was with was (laughs) not... Not something a woman would really want. Let's just say that. Because now I know what a woman really wants. Now I know what women really like. And when she saw me, her jaw dropped. And I just put on my sunglasses and kept it moving. And that was the best, like one of the best like surprises I've had in a while. And it's not because I hate this person or I wish them ill will. It's just that karma's a bitch. (laughs) That's right. Like you, you got what you deserved. I can see it right there. And here I am 40 pounds lighter and better physical shape than ever better spiritual shape than ever, better emotionally. I have more people in my life that are on this path with me now more than ever. And all that, you know, you ever wanted from the beginning with these kinds of people is just some respect and support. And they couldn't give you that. In fact, they took pleasure in putting you down. But now you've made something of yourself and you chose to rise. You chose to rise and they chose to block their path with their mistakes, with their consequences. And they don't know that you're a soldier for God. (laughs) They don't know that you're in it for the marathon. You're not in it for the sprint. 
And so now you're the one with the power. But we're not going to abuse that power. Not here. We're not going to abuse that power. Because we're not like you people that thrive and take pleasure in hurting other people for no reason. For leading them on. For making them seem as though you're going to get promised something and you really don't. People that want to steal parts of you to just boost their ego for the moment. Because they can't see ahead. So we're not going to abuse that power like a spoiled, entitled brat. We're still going to do our thing. And instead, we're going to let God's vengeance have its time and place. So you keep being who you are. And something that I've learned recently in regards to this, ever so more fervently, I suppose, because I've always known this and I've always tried to play it in accordance to the best that I can. But it's almost like you have to watch what you say and whom you say it to and who you say it around because, make no mistake, some people will get agitated by your spirit. You're just living your life. You're just doing your thing. You're trying to choose healthier lifestyles. You're trying to choose the better route. And people are trying to make fun of you for choosing that route. They're trying to make fun of you for trying to be real. They're going to try to make it seem like you're on the wrong path. Meanwhile, they're out partying on the weekends, getting stupid drunk, waking up with a headache the next day, not knowing which way is up and which way is down in the morning. They're around people that are not even their friends. They don't even know what it's like to have a true friend. They don't know what it's like to have just somebody in their life. They don't know what it's like to have God in their lives. They don't know the blessings that come with obeying God's word. They don't know the blessings that come with being obedient to the will of God and what God wants you to do. They don't know the blessings that come from giving rather than just taking. They don't know the blessings that come from charity of good and honest kind work. Because they're so focused on trying to steal experiences and moments that are gone just like that. And it's like these people are just affected in a negative way by your realness. They can't handle your real like your reality because we live as as people of God, we live in reality. And we just want to live a life that is joyful and peaceful and you know, we don't want to we don't want to have to deal with your stupid sarcasm all the time. We don't want to have to deal with your pathetic excuses all the time. We want to be around people that are wanting to do the work and yeah, they can have a good time, but not at other people's expense. I I have never understood why people do that up until my spiritual awakening and then I realized I was like, yep, these people are just children of the devil. As far as I'm concerned. It's wild out here man. It's just wild. And so yeah. Not only. Are women. If you're a man watching this. Not only are women that were once in your life. Going to want to come back into your life. Or they're going to have that jaw dropping moment. That was just. The cherry on top man. Like, again, I don't I don't want to, like, berate her anyway. I'm not trying to bash on her, but, man, to see the look on her face 
after all of these years? Oh man, that was that, that was a sweet moment, and the glory goes to God because you're somebody that can take that hurt of the past. And they can transform it into something beautiful with God's help and assistance. Again, you chose to rise. You thought, oh wow, yeah, that, that hurts. That that does hurt. So what do you do with it? You don't wallow in pity and milk yourself in self pity. Because that's not going to solve the, the problem. What do you do? You start turning yourself into the person that you want to be and know you are in your heart. And all of the doubters and all of the haters along the way will now start to see that, dang, this guy really is undeniable. This guy really is making sense. That woman really is making sense. That woman really is like who she says she is because she demonstrates it by her actions. And that's what matters really at the end of the day. Words can mean almost anything nowadays because nobody really knows how to keep their word. We live in a society that's disloyal to themselves. So how do you expect somebody to be loyal if they can't be loyal to themselves? No, 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 no. That's why I look at their their actions. What are they doing? How are they doing it? Why are they doing it? What are they really trying to do in these moments? What are they really trying to do with this relationship? What are they really trying to do with this business? What are they really trying to do? Are they trying to downplay your greatness? Are they trying to build you up at all? Are they trying to bring you in a sense of togetherness, like we're in this together? Or are they trying to exclude you from the group in the hopes that you do not receive the validation of, at least the respectful validation, that is, of your peers that you actually deserve? Because it's not really about validation at the end of the day. It's more about respect. And as a man, I would rather have respect over love any day of the week. I could give two craps about love in certain kinds of relationships. Because love, even though love and respect is kind of the same thing, I prefer respect because at least I can be treated with dignity you know women want to be loved more than respected and as far as I can tell and you know I understand that that's that's why we're different but the point is nonetheless is whenever you meet people in your life that once took great pleasure in trying to just put you down for no reason and then tried to make you feel bad about it by letting everybody around you at the time know that they're trying to humiliate you and then for them to see who you are now yeah how you like me now <laughs> 